Uh, my name is Xinle Yang and I'm the Chief Technology Officer of uh, Moac. So I, my background was, uh, uh, well, well, when I studied in college, I, my background was physics. Mm -hmm. So yeah, at, at that time I was uh, really interested in quantum cryptography. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's one of the, one of the major, uh, major field I, I was interested in, which is a uh, Mm, cryptography, mm -hmm. and also then afterwards I worked in a, a non-destructive testing company, and also I worked in Walmart, Intel, and Nike. I see. Yeah, and I have oh. a variety of background of software mm -hmm. um, developing and management experience. Okay. Uh, so how long can you tell everyone like how long you've been with the Moac team? Like how long you work with the uh, David, right? And also. Uh, what is your focusing and uh, in this like team? What is your main main role like for a um, like technology team? Okay, so basically, um, I I I co I um, David and I co-founded and and, uh, and also Shah co-founded the the, the Mark company. Yeah. So since uh, early uh, twenty seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. but but David and I worked. Uh, before on the blockchain technology, since uh, we, we start to work together since uh, 2014. Yeah. So, yeah, we, 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 by 2017, we already learned a lot of, uh, of uh, the technology about mm -hmm. the blockchain, so we think we can build, uh, contribute more to the society yeah. by making a, a mother of all chains. Uh, what do you think is important? Is that like partnership or like focusing on the development or anything else? Okay, so blockchain basically blockchain always have, have two hands. Mm -hmm. One hand is the technology yeah. itself, mm -hmm. for example, scalability and uh, security, mm -hmm. right? Those those type of thing. The other hand is the uh, it blockchain because it's decentralized. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a naturally it's a social science. It's a social work, so right. so we need to like bring bring the community together to to work on it and make the every part of the community mm -hmm. to like work together with the the they, all, all of them will need to be like a, a re, reward yeah. uh, will, will, will need to be Isn't rewarded. Like we will have to, yeah, to yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so that's uh, that's the hardest part. Yeah. Uh, so when and and, uh, and with the security, with the incentive of the society, mm -hmm. yeah, we need to balance uh, both of them and make sure everything works, mm -hmm. even in the in the wildest world. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what do you think about the current market? And uh, is it like uh, influence or affect the blockchain development? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, everybody know it, it's a bearish time right, right. now. Yes. But mm -hmm. well, I mean, think about it. I mean, after the dot com bubble burst, yeah. it, it's still a bearish time. But mm -hmm. it, it it didn't stop like a Google, Amazon from growing out of that uh, bearish bearish area, mm -hmm. and be be bearish time, and uh, became a huge company that really benefit the whole whole entire world. Mm -hmm. So I believe blockchain by itself is a technology that will change how people collab collaborate in mm -hmm. the world. Exactly. Yeah yeah so so we 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 will see that change but uh, maybe not today mm -hmm. but eventually it will be like that way. But I think we see a lot of users want to use blockchain but they okay. don't know how to do that. Mm. I think one big challenge we're facing is how do we reach to the developers uh, and to the users mm -hmm. to uh, let them know how to uh, use our uh, blockchain. That's why we make a lot of um, videos on our YouTube channel mm -hmm. to show how to get uh, get, uh, get to know our system mm -hmm. and how to uh, get those first step-by-step -step, uh, instructions for people to just get familiar with us. Uh, we also plan to do more in the future uh, for uh, developers. And if you are a developer and you are interested uh, in this blockchain and don't know how to do that, 
just send us email. We have tiny network mm -hmm. groups there. We have uh, our website emails. We have YouTube channels. Right. Be sure to let us know what you need, and we can definitely work with you to make this help. Uh, yeah. Blockchain is a really a new technology. I think we all see these bubbles going up there and coming down the side. And that's exactly what we're expecting. Mm -hmm. Because only after this bubble bumped out, we will see the real technology growth. And we're excited that we're on the right track now. And there are, even though the token price is not more, it's, it's the low current this time, more users are interested in this one. And actually, it's, it's better for them because it's cheaper for them to use our technology. So I guess uh, if you're a new uh, developer or new user, you are interested in this one, come to us, let us help you. And then you just uh, quit your full-time job at Amazon? Yes. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, so what made you make this decision? Like, what is the attraction like from the Moac project? You know, uh, you know, pull you from Amazon, which is a pretty great company, you know, like, uh, from the internet, like, you know, great internet company to join a blockchain startup? Well, yeah, I like challenge myself from time to time. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, blockchain is a really exciting domain that I'm looking for. for. Uh, and uh, when I was working for Amazon, and I know Moak is doing this, uh, trying to do this new generation of the uh, blockchain, it's very exciting. Uh, based on the white paper and uh, the architect, we are hiring the talented people around the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are very interested in blockchain system, uh, no matter if you do the uh, top level of the uh, the app, mm -hmm. including JavaScripts or or you know you want to do some low level uh, coding uh, design, like uh, you know the Go language, you know mm -hmm. the low level. Uh, TCP IP, peer-to-peer, -peer, um, consensus design, we welcome. After I joined the team, the, the, the biggest project uh, the, that I'm working on is called FileStorm. Mm -hmm. It's actually a uh, data storage process, a data storage platform using Mohawk subchain technology and IPFS. So this is something I've been working on uh, all these years, mm -hmm. not, not all these months. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I think uh, uh, very soon we will we'll do something more about uh, FileStorm. We're then gonna make it an independent project and share that with uh, with everybody, and, and hopefully we can we can truly build a decentralized. Uh, distributed data storage system using blockchain technology right. and you know and, and it's on top of Moac. Right. Do you want to tell like some spe specifics about how like big companies can benefit from this file storm like uh, decentralized uh, storage like application? Sure. Uh, first, let, let's talk about why we do we need decentralized data storage, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we all know block blockchain is something you know we can uh, using blockchain technology. You can store everything on the blockchain. You can uh, modify anything. Everything is there. It's it's fair. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's it's clear. Mm -hmm. And uh, but but very few people knows that you can put everything on blockchain. Blockchain the blocks are small. It's 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 good for transactions. But if you have a lot of data that you want to store and you want, to, want, it, want it, uh, the, the data not to be uh, temper, uh, tempered, you want it to be clear and fair, you need, some, you need to store it somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that is why we need decentralized storage uh, to go with the blockchain. So a lot of the, 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 the applications using blockchain technology today, we need uh, storage. So mm -hmm. that's why uh, we got a lot of tensions from people uh, on, on FileStorm because FileStorm is a decentralized data storage yeah. system. Um, and, and also, it, it's, it's, we got attentions not just from the applications mm -hmm. using Moak. Yeah. Uh, we got attentions from everybody. A lot of the other applications on other blockchain, mm -hmm. they need storage as well and they don't have a good solution. And I think FileStorm got a head start on, uh, on this space and uh, we are one of the first to implement blockchain and IPFS and uh, you know the, the, the application uh, we already have a, a platform that is, uh, is ready to use mm -hmm. so um, yeah we got a lot of uh, people asking us about it and uh, you know, that, that is also a reason we want to make it a, a independent
independent projects so we can support the applications on, on MOAC mm -hmm. as well as applications on all other blockchains. Well, of course, uh, from, uh, from data storage uh, uh, space, mm -hmm. we're the, the, one of the first, uh, yeah. for probably the arguably the best mm -hmm. out there. So if, they need, if, if the, the application is going to store data, mm -hmm. um, of course, FileStorm is, is uh, the best choice. And since uh, FileStorm is on top of Moak, so if you're running, uh, building your application on Moak subchain and then use uh, FileStorm, it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a perfect match. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and, and then, of course, for the other project who's uh, building their applications on other blockchain, mm -hmm. uh, we have provided a, a, a standard API, an application program interface mm -hmm. for those people. So they can use storage, uh, they can use FileStorm storage just like they're using any other cloud services. Yeah. So we can, we, we call it blockchain as a service or mm -hmm. FileStorm as a data storage as a service. Yeah. So they can call the standard API which is very easy to use and then store all the data on, on FileStorm and then they get all the hash, uh, and the hash code and put that on whatever blockchain they're using. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then it's very easy for them to, to integrate uh, FileStorm as a back backend de decentralized database for them. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, sounds very interesting, and uh, that's something I heard you use very like limited time to develop this. How long did you? Yeah, do? yeah. That's uh, you know, uh, we started this idea in April. I mm -hmm. wasn't even a employee of uh, of Moak. Okay, and, April uh, this year, right? Yeah, this year, April uh -huh. this year, and uh, you know. Um, at, uh, at, first, at first, it's just you know two part-time uh, folks working on this, uh, and uh, I, I really see a potential of this, and I think this is something I can really work for because you know um, as an uh, I always feel I have the entrepreneurship in me. Mm -hmm. I feel I want working for uh, I want to work for a startup. I want to build something that's that's unique and creative. Mm -hmm. And I know IPF, IPFS is actually out there for a while, mm -hmm. and uh, there's no commercial product on top of it. And I, I see that where we can actually build this as the very first commercial product yeah. uh, implementing IPFS. Mm -hmm. So I decided to join Moak, Moak and get the help with, from the team mm -hmm. and, and build it. Mm -hmm. And it, the reason we can implement the, this FileStorm this uh, fast is because we have the, the Moak uh, technology. Mm -hmm. with, with this technology, it's, it's very easy to build it uh, using the microchains. Thinking about the other project, if they, um, the concept is very simple. If you if you put a blockchain on top of IPFS, you can build this data storage system. Yeah. But um, a lot of the other blockchains, they only have one chain that that, that is needed for everything else. Mm -hmm. But for for Moak, we have the mother chain, the micro chain. We can use specific micro chains to to achieve specific goals. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is that is how we used it and and created Filestorm in such a short time. Working on FileStorm, I'm actually working on everything. Yeah. Because yeah, the, the, the microchain technology is new. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the team started the project uh, late last year, uh, and then you know, ev basically every month we have uh, new versions coming out mm -hmm. with new features. Yeah. And uh, the, the technology is solid, but we need people to use it to, to make it better. And a FileStorm project is one of the first. Uh, or it's always the first to, to use all the new features of, of microchain. Mm -hmm. So uh, I feel that by implementing FileStorm, I use all the features of microchain. I, I'm the tester of, uh, of the, the new technology, yeah. all the new versions, and I help uh, uh, the teammates to make uh, Moak better. So mm -hmm. I feel, you know, I, I, I really feel achieved that, you know, this, this is our flagship uh, uh, project that, that we can use to test the the, the uh, how how Moak works, yeah. and I think you know um, we, we we did a great job together, mm -hmm. and uh, yes, the the success the future success of, of FileStorm is built on top of Moak, and Moak uh, is is more successful because of FileStorm. So what made you you know what what, made, what is the motivation like for you to switch from Yelp like to a blockchain? Startup company. Oh uh, well, I think you, you if, if you know all these like tech companies in the Bay Area, you probably already heard a lot of 
people like worry about uh, all those big tech giants like control all the data mm -hmm. and privacy and that, all that kind of things. And uh, and I think th those companies are great. They provide really good service like uh, for common people like Gmail or Yelp that like people use every day. But I think all those privacy concerns are legit, and uh, I think we should find a solution for all these. And uh, also, I think blockchain, uh, not just blockchain, but all those P2P uh, networks, not just blockchain, but you know, also we have IPFS, mm -hmm. things like that. I think they are, these are all very cool technology that in the future, I think, can empower a lot of people to gain more control of their own data and also um, it's basically kind of provide an alternative to the centralized system that we have. It's a decentralized world. The key thing about blockchain is basically it provides a very strong incentive layer on top of the traditional P2P network. And I think it's really brilliant that people uh, invented that like since I think approximately 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I think it's something very different. The, the whole blockchain idea and the P2P network thing, it's very different. But I have a feeling that it's going to be something very big for the next 10 years. So I'm really looking forward for that. Uh, is there any like a challenge like you're facing like on the technical development? Oh, challenge. Uh, so no much time to sleep is the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> very busy. Um, technically, yes, uh, blockchain is the, the mm -hmm. it's a cutting edge technology. Right. So it's not like the, my previous job. I just can use my uh, previous experience. So mm -hmm. now I learn so much technologies. Mm -hmm. um,